Okay, guys, let me take a look. Sixth cut. But things are starting to get interesting. So what I did was I laid back that short side quite a bit and tried much harder to get some flow over to this side. The obvious change is take a look at how angled our liquid flow is at this point. We've got more on the very roof. Still pretty wide. It just hits that corner of the chamber. You can see some splatter all the way around. We can see it following around the short side here. I don't know if it's as pronounced as it was. But let me, I drew out a picture of the stock short side and what it looks like now. Let's take a look at that. Okay, stockers on top. What we got right now is on the bottom. Notice how, notice how much different this, this side is here. That's because this is going over that fin. Okay, the whole short side really doesn't look like that. That's going over the lump and the fin at some point. And I use a pretty heavy wire, so it's not going to completely go to the roof, no matter how hard you push on it. But you can see, our apex has changed a little bit, going from 1.085 inches to 1.027. It's still relatively tall, but whereas the apex is here, Right, it moved back a little bit. So it has a longer arc to get to the valve seat than this, right? This is, you know, stock. It basically has a, a cut right there. Let's look at that. Okay, that's the, that's the stock short side, okay? overhangs quite a bit. Right. Not a tremendous amount, but a decent amount. And it's really steep and has an edge to it. It's actually a sharp edge right here. Now, what do you think that sharp edge is used for? Okay, we've got a very wide seat coverage on the valve. I think, I'm going to say I think that's about the widest we've been on the valve seat. Right? If we look at it, we look at it here. As far as valve seat, it goes from here all the way to here with liquid. I'm going to say that's a winner as far as liquid flow. Okay, by far that is the most angle we've seen on our liquid to date. Okay. And as far as flows, fifth cup was not a winner, right? That's when I took that fin off. Well, after you take the fin off, that was obviously a mistake. What else, what, what else can you do at that point? But if you own a set of heads and you do an experiment like that, you need to try to fix it best you can. Well, I took a look at our, our air speeds, which are on the bottom. And there was a couple of things that I didn't like about it, right? This was too fast. And the cylinder wall of the short side radius in the center was too fast. So I actually worked on those three points. This one, this one, and this one. And how did we do? Well, as far as flow, we got plus, 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 minus, plus, minus, plus, 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 plus. By the way, this sounded much better. It's a very important point, okay? This sounded like a happier port than this port. And as you can see by the higher lift flows, it was, it was definitely happier in the higher ranges. Now, if you're going to run a big cam on this and spin this to the moon, I have a feeling that this port would make a lot better power than this port. Okay? Even this port. Now, what happened as far as our speeds? Well, it was interesting, right? top of the port got a lot slower, went from 190 to 126, 
and I put a flow ball there, and it's still lost flow. So it doesn't want to be filled, it just doesn't want that much air going through it. The center actually got faster. You would think that's bad, but it's flowing more. Remember, these are 600 lift. We're 265, where we were 259 before. That's a decent, that's a decent step up. And the floor is almost the exact same speed. I actually did add a touch. No, that wasn't this one. Sorry. This one here. I added a touch of area at the very bottom when I took that fin out because I had to, to just to fix the curve a little bit. As far as our roof speeds, 251 to 230. Knock that back quite a bit. 227, 234. What do you notice about these guys though? Let me know if anyone else does this airspeed thing when they develop a port. I've never seen anyone else do it like that, but you know, it was one of those things I thought about it and said, I need a way to uh, to figure this out. And I'm still figuring it out, little by little. You know, I don't I don't have all the answers. I know a lot of guys on the internet have all the answers, not me. Okay, our last numbers are our short side radius. How do we do on the short side radius? Wow. Still fast. It's not as ridiculously fast in the middle, right? It was... 420 and before that it was 450 so I knocked it down twice okay but look at how even it is All right. I did quite a bit of work to that short side because we have a lot of metal there so I changed the, the height of the short side over to the center of the cylinder to force more air over there and judging from our liquid right if I'm getting more air out of here, remember this is the open part, right? There's nothing, there's nothing shrouding here, right? If we could get more air out of the open part, it takes some of the strain off the straight wall where it's shrouded and tough to get around, which caused our liquid flow to go more of an angle that way, which I'm going to say is a win, okay? All right, so what did we learn? First of all, short side radiuses are a lot of work to get right, okay? A lot of work to get right. Notice it's still, we still have less meat in the middle of the curve than we had a few cuts back. We were over, sorry, we were over 200 before. Now we're only 194. Okay, this is my crappy porting, which I think I considered my first cut. Uh, notice how much better it was in the mid-range there, right? 202.8. And then as we progress down, this is the second cut. 197 and change. Top out 253. This is the second cut with the chamber. Right, R... Point three got knocked back even further. Uh, 258 actually went up a little bit as far as peak. And then I did this one over here, which is considered our third cut. We got a little better on our point three and 265, which topped out pretty good, right? Fourth cut, 200, that came back a touch and we almost topped out better, but we have better, that's a better all-around curve than the last cut. Okay, the fifth cut was a loser. That's when we took the fan, the fin out. And this one, we worked on it after we took the fin out. Slow and painful, guys. Kind of like marriage and kids. And pets. And work. Am I wrong? I don't know. In any case, this is how I choose to, to uh, waste my time. I am. I did get uh, approval to do a little work on the Osmobile head 
as far as changing where that push rod is. Since he has to get custom rockers built anyway, why wouldn't we put more of an offset on it and see if we can get that port a little straighter and work a little better. So I think I'm going to tear the bench apart, put on my adapter plates, and do a little grinding on, uh, on those old heads. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.